Hey everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. This video is all about the syllabus discussion of Fundamentals of Electronics and Communication Engineering. This subject will be a program specific course in first year engineering. This has a subject code 1BECE105 bar 205. If you look at the BE scheme and syllabus in VTU page, if you go and check physics group, you will be having program specific course here. This is the fifth subject. This will be handled by respective engineering department. If you come down, these are the different program specific courses available and also respect to that labs are there. Now, if you look at the syllabus of this fundamentals of electronics and communication engineering with the code 1BECE105 or 205, this is a three credit course. You will be having 40 total hours of lecture sessions and 50 marks of CIE, 50 marks of SE will be conducted. Totally, you will be having 100 marks and exam duration will be three hours. There are course outcomes here you can go through. There are five course outcomes. Means after studying this subject, students should be able to apply the working principles of fundamental characteristics of various semiconductor devices, starting from diodes, then transistors, then operational amplifiers in basic electronic circuits. Then they are able to analyze basic rectifier and amplifier circuits as well using principle of diodes, transistors and op-amp again. Then they are able to illustrate the fundamental concepts of communication system and their applications. Means you will understand communication related things also in this subject. Then students should be able to design combinational circuits using fundamental principles of digital systems. I means one of the module it covers digital design as well. And students should be able to analyze the fundamental concepts of electronic circuits, communication system, digital systems for their role in building basic electronics applications. These are the five course outcomes they have set to study this subject. Then comes module one. Module one will start with a very, very basic component in electronics that is diode. How the diode will operate and their application. That is what the first module is all about. Starting from introduction, then characteristics and parameters of the diode, diode approximation, diode DC load line analysis, then application of those diodes as rectifiers. half way rectifier, full way rectifier, capacitor filter circuit, only qualitative approach will be taken over here. Then uh, it means there is no problems associated with capacitor filter circuits. Then Zener diode as a voltage regulator and diode logic circuit. This is about module one. It requires eight hours, means total eight lecture hours are required to complete this subject. And you need to refer textbook one, these topics, to understand all these then coming to module 2 module 2 is about transistors in transistors the first thing is bipolar junction transistor and the second type is field effect transistor in bjt you will study introduction what is bjt voltages currents bjt amplification bjt switching common base characteristics common emitter characteristics bjt biasing fixed bias voltage divider bias dc load line bias point everything then field effect transistor is studied here junction field effect transistor n channel and j effect characteristics and then mosfets enhancement mode mosfet only given here and there is a case study of mosfet as a switch here you can understand how these mosfets will be used as a switch and enormous application of mosfet will be nowadays used in vlsi industry for chip making you need to understand how it will be behave as a switch the textbook 1, chapter 4 and 5 covers and also part of 9 covers this module. Coming to module 3. Module 3 is about operational amplifiers. Starting from introduction, operational amplifier what it is, what is the block diagram representation of that and a symbol that is what the first chapter is. Second chapter is op-amp parameters. There are different parameters to analyze the op-amp. Starting from input resistance, output resistance, CMRR, slew rate. What is the bandwidth it supports and input offset voltage, input bias current, input offset current and then start with ideal op-amp, equivalent circuit of an op-amp, then open loop configuration, differential amplifier and inverting and non-inverting amplifier. So this is about the second chapter with respect to op-amp parameters and bit applications. The third chapter will be more about the applications and writing the circuits and analyzing those. Inverting configuration is the first thing, then non-inverting configuration differential configuration voltage follower and integrator or, and differentiator these are the applications we can make out from op-amp so that is module 3 completely on 
operational amplifiers textbook 2 they have given uh, starting from chapter 1 till uh, there are some bits and pieces of chapter 2 and 6 covers this module then module 4 module 4 is all about communication fundamentals of communication starting from elements of a communication system what is communication channel and the characteristics like wireline fiber optic communication wireless communication and then comes introduction to analog modulation types you might have observed am fm in your radios similarly here we are going to understand what is amplitude modulation what is frequency modulation what is phase modulation how the waveforms look like and there is no derivations here they have given excluding derivation and the spectral diagrams are not required then comes application of these am radio broadcasting how it will work super heterodyne fm receiver how the fm signals will be decoded in a super heterodyne receiver then mobile wireless telephone systems how they will uh, look like then there is a case study of converting analog signal to digital signal using pcm this module 4 will be present in textbook 3 that is chapter 1 and chapter 3 textbook 4 also covers uh, some part of this 3.5 4.4.1 .4 till 18.3.2 you can see you can go through this textbook and get the exact explanation what it is required here this also carries uh, 8 hours then the last module module 5 is digital electronics means starting from digital systems and number systems here you need to understand what are all the different number systems available binary octal hexadecimal number systems converting from decimal to binary binary to hexa hexa to octal like that and then we will be having ones complement and twos complement operation signed binary numbers arithmetic addition subtraction and binary logic this is all about module 5 chapter 1 in chapter 2 after understanding all these we will be sticking to binary and we will be applying boolean algebra and we will be writing some circuits starting from basic definitions basic theorems available in boolean algebra properties and then standard forms and canonical forms and boolean functions digital logic gates excluding extension to multiple inputs and positive negative edge will be not covered over here and nand gate nor gate as a universal gates excluding again multiple level uh, presentation then binary adders only half adder and full adder is covered over here there is a case study here we need to understand 4 bit adder simulation how actually the 4 bit adder will be constructed and how the simulation look like this covered in more textbook 5 uh, starting from module 1 and then 2 and part of 3 as well as 4.5 this also covered in 8 hours so they have given the suggested learning resources here means the textbook what I have shown here textbook 1 2 3 4 5 with respect to modules are given here the first textbook is david a bill electronic devices and circuits ramakant gayakwad operational amplifier then john g uh, parokis uh, for communication system and dp kothari and uh, ij nagrat for basic electronics some part of that will be uh, from some part of the syllabus will be covered here as well then morris mono for digital design these are the five textbooks you need to have to study all this content in my channel you will be getting all those concepts required for this subject and it will be divided clearly into you can study easily bits and pieces of the module and you can get ready for examination and also you can learn in depth in my channel by looking at the other videos then you will be having reference books as well there is a mic tooly and uh, fundamentals and applications of electronic circuits then electronic principles and electronic devices and circuit theory are the reference textbooks you can refer them as well for the same topics which they have given in the syllabus then some web links they have given introduction to basic electronics and uh, digital electronic circuits nptl courses you can take these nptl courses as part of your uh, learning journey or you can go through some other nptl courses which give the same topics as well that is all about the subject you can understand this subject easily it is not so difficult and in my channel please find this playlist which is fundamentals of electronics and communication engineering and also you can see other subjects in my channel where you will be learning all the different subjects of vtu you can score more if you follow continuously please subscribe hit the bell icon and keep following thank you